Hello everyone, this is Pat MC 007 from Archie's Nuts Production and today I wanted to talk to you about video stabilization and whether or not you should be using the stabilization that comes with your camera or the one that's provided in the Sony Vegas Movie Studio software. I use the HD Platinum version 10 of the Sony Vegas software and it does have a function for stabilizing video media and to determine if that does a good job or not I wanted to uh, conduct an experiment. So I'm going to drag into the timeline a video that I took earlier this week. Uh, this is a video that I took with my cell phone and it's also a video I took while driving. You'll note by the initial preview screen that my fingers are flopping in front of the lens as I try to get the camera on and aimed at the uh, subject matter that I wanted to film while driving. Uh, that's not pertinent to this experiment so I'm going to just slide over the beginning of the clip until I get past that fumbling and there we go so that's a much clearer screen and of course I don't endorse you filming and driving not a very good idea uh, the other thing that I want to do is lower the volume because this is all the wind blowing that was picked up by the phone by the phone's video camera and it's very annoying so if I hit the play button or the spacebar button you'll see that the video is jumpy it's not stable at all uh, that's obvious for obvious reasons. My arm is flailing, the car is bouncing, and you're also getting a little bit of the effect because of, a, uh, of the bad preview, uh, but we'll disregard that for now. So anyway, what I want to do is to take this video, and I'll highlight it, and I'll go up to my tools, pull that menu, and I'll slide down to video, and over to stabilize media. Give that a click and it's going to give me six options on how to stabilize and I'm going to choose the handheld camera fast moving screen because this was a handheld camera and the scenery going by is uh, relatively quick movement in the screen uh, so I'm going to click the apply button and it's going to begin to run a routine to stabilize the media And now that the video has been stabilized, I've put side by side the original video on the left and the new stabilized video on the right. We can do a side by side comparison as we play these. Unfortunately, you can already see that the stabilized video is zoomed in considerably. It's cropped and also, in my opinion, even on the preview screen, looks like the resolution has been reduced. Now, all of these things make sense to me because the digital process of stabilizing the video takes away from the resolution and also takes away from the edge but it seems to me like this may be a bit on the extreme side but let's do the real test and let's run the video side by side and see what we think I've slowed the video down so we can watch better the differences between the two and you'll notice again still that the video is zoomed in and cropped such a way that you're losing a lot of the media you notice you don't see any of the overhead wires in the stabilized video you don't see any of the road in the foreground now that may be a desired result but in this particular case it's not and there's another effect that happens that's certainly undesirable and it's almost like the digital video is reversed at some points as it tries to interpolate the anti-shake and you'll see it in this fence going back and forth like that certainly not an attractive feature of the video as we move to the next phase of the video, notice that the vehicles in the stabilized version of the video are much blurrier than the cars and trucks in the original version, whether they're sitting on the side of the road or moving in the foreground. And as we get to the final part of the video, I'm actually turning the video camera or the phone camera around in a counterclockwise direction as I'm driving away. And I think that the motion of the camera in addition to the car bouncing this is probably the best example of the stabilizing effect on the video, but unfortunately you'll still notice how zoomed in, in it is. Unfortunately, after having conducted this experiment, the results to me are clear, if you'll pardon the pun, and that is that though it is very nice that Sony provided us this functionality in the Vegas software, without some controls other than just being able to choose something from a drop-down list, I don't think we're very easily going to get the desired results that we want. In this particular case where the vehicles move relatively quickly we lost a lot of the perimeter of the screen and a little bit of the resolution clarity in order to get something that 
should have been more stable and it might have been acceptable had it not been for all the jumping back and forth that you see as you watch the video. So I'm going to conclude at this time that I would not have run that routine on this video and I would be skeptical to run it on others. But as it's a learning process, I would really love to hear any success stories anybody has. So if you've, you've tried the Sony stabilizing uh, functionality and you have a story to share, please post it and I'd be happy to hear about it. But meantime, thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.